Okay, so today I'm building the Cyclone 50, the Maddox Jet Cyclone 50, my most popular engine. I've sold probably a couple of hundred of them. Uh, this engine is 56 inches long. It's six and a half inches around up here. It's four and a half inches around in the tailpipe. Cycles at uh, 108 hertz. 108 explosions per second go off inside this. Uh, it's a really cool little engine. Right now I've got in my hand the engine that runs on propane. Uh, you can also run it on gasoline with a fuel pump, which is what I do on uh, on all my bicycles and stuff, because it looks really cool to just have a regular gas tank instead of a big propane bottle on it. But you can uh, you can run it either way. So we're going to be building actually two engines today. You can you can run gas or propane in the same engine. Don't have to have two different engines. Um, but anyway, you can you can buy plans on my site at maddoxjets.com, or you can buy kits, or you can buy a completed engine from me and build your own bike or your own go-kart and come out and play with us down in Cedarville.
let's talk a little bit about what a pulse jet engine is and how it works. A pulse jet engine is a, it's called a reaction engine. What we're going to do is we're going to blow air into the intake here. And it's going to go into here and it's going to mix with fuel that's being sprayed. And that fuel air mixture is going to come down to the spark plug. And that's going to set off an explosion. It's going to go off like a cannon. It's going to shut this one-way reed valve. It's going to make all the gases rush out the tailpipe. And that gives us our thrust, opposite and equal reaction. So after that happens, our gases have rushed out the tailpipe and the explosion that's up here, the high pressure that was caused by the explosion starts to subside. But those gases are still rushing out the tailpipe at really high speeds. So what will happen is it will start to create a suction as those gases are rushing out the tailpipe. That will open up the one-way reed valve up here, suck air in, which will mix with the fuel that's spraying all the time. And then that fuel air mixture will get down to about here, but there's so much negative pressure in here that it pulls some of the fire back up from the previous explosion and it touches it off there and it goes off again. And that happens at 108 times every second inside this engine. So, it, so it's incredibly, incredibly loud and uses a lot of fuel. Okay, we have our two engines built and this is the gasoline powered engine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little quick test fire at the fun part. So when you run these engines, the most important thing that you have to remember is the sequence for starting. You have to put air in, then spark, and then fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'll put my headphones on and blow air in the nose with the leaf blower today. Then I'm going to reach over here and turn the spark on and then I'm going to hit the fuel pump. Now I've already got it preset to about 50% on the fuel. And then boom, it'll fire up. I'll take the air away. I'll throttle it up and down a little bit so you can, so you can see the throttle. And uh, then we'll shut it off. So here we go. that's what a pulse jet engine sounds like. <laughs> so anyway, this is the gasoline powered one. This is the one that you're going to want to buy or build if you're going to put on a, a bicycle or a motorcycle or something like that because it runs on gasoline so you can have a regular gas tank. Now the propane powered one is really good for go-karts and stuff but on a bicycle or a, or a um, motorcycle having the propane bottle there just you know, it doesn't look that cool. So, so the propane one is, is more for uh, other projects. This one is for your bicycles and motorcycles. Okay, so we've run our gasoline powered engine. Now let's fire up the propane powered engine. Now the propane is it's all the same. Blow air in, spark, fuel, bang, it runs. Except for on this one, none of this under here except for the spark box is going to matter. And with the propane, with a, a pretty good sized engine like this, you can't just open up the valve because the propane comes out too slow and it just catches on fire. So I got a ball valve here. So when I crack the ball valve, I've got good pressure, so it'll fire right up. So here we go. Well, it didn't fire right up. A few little pops, but you know, you get used to it. So anyway, that's our propane-powered Cyclone 50 engine. That's a hot one. I could hear the echo for at least three or four seconds over there. <laughs> and that's the Cyclone 50, the propane powered one. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode.